welcome to a very special Halloween centric episode of Toy Pizza. Very spooky, happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, guys. This is my favorite holiday. This is, is my least favorite. Really? I, I, I personally really do like Halloween. I'm just going to go on record and say I was a ghost six years in a row. And uh, running. And running. Yes. That was when you died and you were haunting people. You came yeah. back to life. Mm -hmm. Wait, so this is your favorite holiday, too? It's not my favorite, but oh. it's definitely one that I enjoy thoroughly. I mean, free candy. Hello. That's true. Well, so, okay, tangent. Right, starting right off with a tangent. Um, <laughs> I, I don't like Halloween that much because I never per, uh, participated in trick or treating. I always stayed at home and passed out the candy. So it was silly for me to go get free candy when we were passing it out anyways. So you yeah. missed the entire experience of Halloween. Well, I just, it was free candy at home anyways. One for you, one for me. Halloween was really just an excuse, uh, to be a juvenile delinquent. And yes. Go around smashing eggs. property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. eggs. Smashing uh, eggs, yeah. eating eggs, eggs. Sure. scrambled See eggs. Peeps, people's houses. Yeah. Uh, Breaking into the house, steal stuff. Yeah, it was a great time. I, and also dressing up. It's a good. It's great dressing up to someone that you, you know. know. That's a good question. I'd like to know from our fans. What is your favorite Halloween tradition besides oh. watching toy pizza and smashing windows? <laughs> is it summoning demons? Uh, Could be anything. Hocus pocus stuff. All right, well, uh, you we guys... we got a big show. We, we do. we got to get to it. Uh, yeah. we're, what are we covering today? So we're going to do uh, t some spooky toys that uh, we right. personally have brought in what, to show you guys. What kind of spooky stuff we have? Monstrous, creppy, spoopy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Anything and evil? Devilish. Uh, super, super evil. Super evil. evil. Yeah, and also uh, some classics in there. Right? That's right. So uh, our we... favorite monster toys. Awesome. Well, uh, first of all, we like to kick it off with a little bit of news. We've got a couple of items we need to cover, mm -hmm. so uh, let's hop to it. Okay. Um, number one, uh, Black Glove Kickstarter. Jesse. Oh, talk about fill, spooky. Yeah, fill us in. So, fill us in specifically. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, I don't. In the Black Glove, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. Uh, it's no secret Bioshock is my second favorite video game franchise right, behind course. Metal Gear, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the creators of Bioshock, when that studio closed, they spun mm -hmm. off, and now they're on Kickstarter, and they have a great campaign that's ending in a few days, and it's for a game called Black Glove. And if you go to Kickstarter and you check out the trailer, this really feels like a spiritual successor to Bioshock. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got... Um, Boy, magicians and artists, and it's very vaudevillian. Yeah, it's very like uh, just like uh, illusion based. Uh, the whole th thing about the game is it's called the black glove because he wears this glove that has a hole in it, mm. and when you look through it, you see something completely different. And for what we gathered in the trailer and some of the gameplay that's not final, it actually looks really sick. It's reminiscent of Twin Peaks with the floor being black and white. Yeah, and Black just, Lodge. Yeah, various rooms with curtains and just like you don't know what's happening. It's very uh, deranged. And but it's it's like Bioshock in terms of like the point of view. And, it is uh, first in person. It's uh, first person. Yeah. I think it's more story based than mm. Bioshock was. Bioshock yeah. had, you know, a lot of action elements. And sure. It really is a first person shooter. Yeah. So in this game, they get to expand upon the more narrative based objectives which i think is interesting yeah it's pretty cool i mean you see um you see a lot of like game developers jumping to kickstarter it's pretty cool that it's part of the bioshock team that's going to do that thing yeah i think that's awesome it's definitely uh for a uh more recent like you know a larger game platform versus like a handheld or like computer but also just the fact that it's not just like you know left for dead or uh you know like a zombie or gory kind of sp like spooky and creepy it's like almost like silent hill like kind of just like you don't know what's happening kind of spooky and I i'm really into it mm -hmm. like um tobacco smoke okay okay going off of that uh play arts kai final fantasy mm. um, this is pretty interesting jesse you've uh you've, you've talked about play arts kai a little bit on the show already mm -hmm. you know you're a collector um but do you like final fantasy it's well specifically this line is Go ahead, for jesse for Advent Children. At the movie. Correct. Yeah, for, for Final, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Um, which, at, well, okay, so I have the DVD, and like at the time when it came out, I was just like mind-blowing. Like mm -hmm. it was insane like how great it looked. And then I recently rewatched it, and like because the resolution is so small, like there's a big black window around it, not yeah. even just black bars. Um, so like it doesn't look as great as it did back in the day. It still looks nice, though. Um, I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan, however, I'm not a fan of any of the 3D Final Fantasy games. Okay. Uh, I really, so that's really like Final Fantasy 1 to 6, six which right. was mm -hmm. part 3 yeah. originally. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm excited about this line only because I think it's only a matter of time before we get Final Fantasy 6 
okay. action figures. All right. Which would be amazing. One, because that's my favorite game, and I think it's it's the greatest Final Fantasy game. Mm. Mm. Two, because Yoshitaka Mano, who is uh, you know one of my favorite artists, did all the character designs. Um, so it would just be great to get Saban and Edgar and Locke and Terra and all of that cast of characters in play arts form. That would be absolutely amazing. And I think it's coming because we're now seeing some of Yoshitaka Omano's designs show up for other play arts figures. So okay. Like? I think it's the Dragoon that they're doing. I'm okay. probably wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But there is a, a character, I think, from Final Fantasy 2 or 3 mm -hmm. that they've just shown. And that is a direct translation of Yoshitaka Omano's designs. What about Chocobos? Yeah. Give us um, a chocobo. He didn't invent them. He just perfected them. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, Cloud. I know Cloud being from Final Fantasy VII, mm -hmm. one of uh, arguably the best Final Fantasy uh, for fans yep. out there. Incorrect. And uh, yeah, seeing him in Advent Children, you know, like as an adult, mm -hmm. is really, really cool. So I'm happy to see him in the figure. Yeah. Maybe we could ask our fans, what's your final favorite final favorite, final favorite fair, fantasy? Fair, fair. What's your final decision on your favorite Final Fantasy fair, game? Fair. Mm -hmm. fair, uh, moving fair. on to news item number three. A uh, friend of ours on Instagram. Uh, David A. White. David A. White yeah. uh, is doing a pizza nut. That's actually really cool. Uh, can we see a picture of it? Yeah, yeah it's, I, on, it's on screen right oh, there now. Is. Okay. Yeah, and as soon as I saw a picture of it, I looked, my mind was blown. I was like, that is amazing. Yeah, yeah so uh, David White, uh, his Instagram is Instagram.com slash MechaZone. Mm -hmm. uh, he has written all these books about how to draw Mecha. This, this guy is a enormous talent he mm -hmm. just the way he can depict robots is beyond my comprehension yeah a little while ago he started doing his own 3d printed toys the mechanauts sure, sure. um and they're amazing and you know the biggest downside to 3d toys is that they feel very grimy or sandy or you know in a tactile yeah. sense it's not fun to hold it's like holding sandpaper almost yeah it's exactly. not smooth so yeah. he came up with a method that coats these 3D printed figures and gives them, uh, you know, kind of a sheen and a nicer touch. Um, and he's really one of the only people I've seen that it, that is pulling off nice looking, posable, playable mm -hmm. 3D figures. Um, as a huge fan of his Mechanaut line, uh, I was more than happy to oblige his request to do a Pizza Knot. Yeah, I'm, you know, did he approach you? Um, he had approached me about you know, how can he get out there in social media in a bigger sure. way? How can he get new customers? Well, and to me, it made perfect sense for him to do his rendition of our character right here. Yeah. And uh, we Specifically the blue one, right? Nah, nobody wants the blue one. <laughs> um, which, quick side question for our audience. Who do you think should be the leader of the Knights of the Slice? Very much like Power Rangers, I think the leader should be just someone in a glass tube. And just <laughs> yeah. not one of us. I'm totally I, into that. Like you know, that. I've I mean, never seen Power Rangers. Actually. But at the, at the, on the same coin, it really just should be a red. No, I think I like the idea of like the glass too, but it's like just like a camera. It's just yeah. a pizza like, slice. I mean, no, how about just a pizza slice? You know, we just but, oh, or a box. But it should be the green. Okay, the green yeah. pizza slice. So yeah. you guys tell us in the comments. You have three choices. Is it brick, lime, or teal? Who should the leader be? Whoever gets the most votes, that shall be the little leader. Or other, like camera or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to pick those three. You can just literally throw out your own suggestions. Or purple. This one. Or purple. So I digress. Um, so anyway, Pizza Knot is coming. We will tell our fans when it's available for order. Sure. Is it? Is he New York based? Uh, he, I think he's a uh, Boston Mass guy. So, but we want to have him on the show. Absolutely. We'll, we'll totally have him in here. And he can present, maybe, yep. the the, uh, the final product. That would be great. Perfect. The last bit of news uh, we've got is actually kind of like a three-parter. Uh, first of all, first and foremost, Reaction Line. We haven't talked enough about it. What is... Yeah, I just wanted to... I rose my hand because I was asking, what is Reaction? Okay. Funny, funny, funny. Ha, 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 ha. We featured Reaction, of course, uh, thoroughly on this channel, but big announcement, Alien Series 2. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now, I know he's really excited about it. I'm happy to see another variation of the Xenomorph, mm -hmm. specifically Big Chap, yep. and I would love to see Ash with the chest buster. You I'm mean kidding. Kane? I was just kidding because <laughs> you said that. <laughs> Check out our Alien vs. Predator uh, episode, which uh, just went up this month. Uh, super cool. We feature a lot of really neat toys. And San Diego um, Comic-Con episode showcasing most of uh, the reaction line that yeah. we own. San Diego? Yeah, yeah the San Diego Comic-Con. Because the... The, the uh, playset. Piece. Playset. Oh, I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Um, um, I, I guess I'll buy these, sure. Sure. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to twist your arm Maybe. or anything. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, but it's cool because, you know, you have Ripley in the white suit, you know, from yeah. the 
one portion of the movie, and also just uh, Kane, you know, he's wearing all white, and then just like the chest burster is just all bloodied up. Really no, I think that's that's actually the figure from Spaceballs. Oh. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Um, you know, if you're just now listening or just now tuning into the channel, uh, you know, we, we joke about reaction because this whole month we've been doing Funko Fridays and reaction is aligned by Funko. Um, so check out every Friday, you know, you're going to get a taste of Funko-ness. Uh, we recently did um, Big, Big Hero 6 Pop Finals. Yes. That's right. Um, and the movie's coming out. Yeah, no, right. November uh, 7th. 7th. Next, next November week. Yeah, 7th. Yeah. Next week. And so, uh, I think that this Friday is our last Funko Friday for the month of October. It yeah. is. So uh, tune in for the last one. It's going to be a special one. And let us know in the comments or when you go see the video if you want to see more Funko Friday. But is it the last one? And is it that special? <laughs> so yeah, reaction alien. We love the reaction line. Jess is a huge fan. He uh -huh. said he's gonna on camera gonna give me uh, the space glitter ones. Did not say that. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, next piece of news. Uh, that's actually all the news. Oh, that really? is all the news? That's, that's all the news. Fit to slice, my friend. Okay. Yeah. Well. So, Cade, earlier you brought up Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is, of course, a very popular video game. Mm -hmm. But there are other popular video games out there. You mean like Swamp Thing? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Resident Evil. Awesome. Okay, so right here we brought in this, uh, I guess his name is Mr. X, or he's a tyrant specifically from... Oh, yep, yeah, just... Uh, so this is actually uh, Mr. X, which is a tyrant variant, um, and this one is from the Toy Biz line. Uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, so he's from Resident Evil 2. I remember playing Resident Evil, mm -hmm. and I was just like... Uh, this game is amazing, and then I just remember for the first time seeing a toy mm -hmm. in the store, and really what was recognizable is the game art, because right. first of all, the zombie doesn't look like a real zombie, it almost looks yeah. like a mannequin sure. with his head turned, yeah. mm -hmm. and that, you know, always stuck with me, and I remember seeing the actual first line from Toy Biz, you know, they had Jill, they had Chris, they had Chris, the Hunter. That Chris figure was awesome, yeah. and the the, uh, the Python pistol that he comes yeah. with was yeah. oh, so cool. Yeah, just any of the guns, if you play Resident Evil, you fall in love with the guns, Sure. Mm -hmm. and the monsters are great, you had Chimera, you had Hunter, you had Lickers. Uh, the Lickers from Resident Evil 2, yeah. and then so here is definitely one of the you know scarier villains in Resident Evil. Yeah. Now, I hadn't played in great length uh, any Resident Evil games until Resident Evil 4, which okay, that's floored me <laughs> and overtook my entire life. Mm -hmm. And I played it through, I think, six or seven times, and it was just so amazing. Same. <laughs> um, Resident Evil 5 was mm. fun, but not didn't quite capture right, yeah. the magic. Resident Evil Revelations On for the great things yeah. for the 3DS. Great things. They're doing a sequel. Awesome game. They are doing a sequel. We saw they were demoing it at New York Comic Con yeah. earlier this month. I cannot wait for that game because um, the failings of five and six. Six is not even worth mentioning. <laughs> like, let's make it a movie. Yeah. Okay. Um, six, uh, you know, the the failings of five and six are not present in the Revelation series. That's they're, sick. They're, it's just a return, a return to form. Mm -hmm. um, so I have very high hopes for Revelation series two. And I am sweating profusely under this. You can costume. always take this off. No, no. Like. Okay. Must stay in character. Well, uh, speaking of form, uh, it's pretty cool. This figure comes with uh, basically an alternate form where he grows these gigantic uh, arms and nails and uh, really can just totally take you down. And like he has this kind of hood that goes over his. Um, you yeah, sh it should be taking the, uh, the jacket, jacket off. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I like to. It's funny to put it over the the jacket though. But it, it, the jacket does come off. It's a nice like cloth. Um, I don't know if I really feel like taking it off at the moment, but it is a nice material. What do you want to say? Speaking Jeez. really real quick about Resident Evil playing the game. Now, the tyrant being like the final boss in the first one, mm -hmm. you know, he's pretty scary. Right? You know, and he has this big monstrous sure. claw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Resident Evil 2 comes out, and I guess these guys came out, and they have two monstrous claws. But they're also walking around in these stern like military coats, like oh, like I'm here to collect taxes or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But then him, he's almost comparable to number three, the scariest tyrant variation of mine uh, is the nemesis. Yeah, and I, yeah, the he, nemesis. I mean, number two is great with the G virus and stuff, and this guy is great. He almost looks like uh, an engineer from uh, Prometheus. Oh yeah, oh, I can yeah. see that. This was face. this was one of the toys that I bought having not played Resident Evil 2, just based on how cool it was and the awesome leather jacket. Yeah, I mean, Toy Biz did a really, really good job with the, um, you know, just the details and, like, the, the paint app and, uh, like, the veins and all these, like, muscles and all this stuff. Like, it's really great. And, like, even just, like, the, the movement and the articulation on the legs and the arms, really nice figure. Save it for the show, buddy. <laughs> well, we're not recording? No. <laughs> <laughs> Another interesting thing about Resident Evil 2 is that uh, when you bought the game on the inside, it was a mail away to like B 
be an extra in the movie, and that really? movie never came out. Oh. Yeah, so. That's a and, bummer. And then they were like, oh, let's just do another uh, Resident Evil movie. So, um, Paul, uh, and Paul Thomas Anderson will Giamatti. still honor that and put you in the next Resident Evil film? Uh, I'm still waiting for my call. I, uh, <laughs> I bought the copy of the game. I bought several copies of the game. Or is it just yeah. Paul Anderson? I... Paul Anderson, right? The director? No idea. Look, I don't all know. right. Okay. Well, all right. Resident Evil 4 is definitely one of the better Resident Evil games. So if you don't and never play Resident Evil, definitely pick up 4. Yeah. It will floor you. It I will mean, floor you. Uh, it's and, for you. And the question, you know, why is this on the Halloween special? Well, because Resident Evil is such a, like, hallmark in the horror genre of video yeah. games. Yes. There are no cooler monsters out there. Yep. Um... Except for the monster inside all of us. Correct. Okay. And we know you like you guys like video games. We want to do as much video game stuff as we can. So this is our uh, homage to you. If, if you replay it, though, it's so funny because if you play one or two, it's just like default noises. They're not as scary anymore, but at the time of us, it blew your mind. But yeah. it's just like you hear a zombie coming and you shoot it. It's just like, uh, 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 and then it falls over. But, you know, it's still scary because uh, especially for those cutscenes and zombie just popping out the door. Sure. Definitely, uh, like you said, a... Uh, a standard in the uh, survival horror. Absolutely. Genre. I have something stuck in the back of my tooth. Great. It might be a uh, noodle. Maybe it's a noodle. Maybe it's a piece of swamp ah! uh... thing. No, but I really do have something stuck in my tooth. Okay. You want to use this to get it out? I'll be okay. Okay. So, my favorite monster, who is totally Halloween Blank appropriate, man. is an empty box. No, swamp thing. You know, I, I've confessed my love for swamp thing many times on this show. And I finally received this Metacom Sofubi. Very nice. That is a Hastings exclusive. Wow. That's and the this thing is just amazing. I, first of all, I wasn't expecting it to be this large. Yeah, yeah it's I, awesome. It says 10 inches in the box, but like, who, that's like a foot. But who knows how much yeah. 10 inches is, you know? There's no way to measure that. <laughs> okay. It's completely subjective. Mm -hmm. uh, so, no, this, I'm going to tell you right now, this reminds me um, of a giant, well, I guess not giant, same scale. Turd. Uh, nope. Oh. Venom Sofubi that I have. Venom. You have a ve Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, the, the Magneto and the Wolverine. Yeah. Like, I don't know. The, yeah. I have early, Venom. early Toy Biz. I, uh, okay. So it's, it's exactly the same. It's Venom and it's, uh, it's just like this. And I remember getting it for Christmas. I, it's, you know how you have very few memories when you're a child? Yeah, because yeah, you block them all out because your childhood was terrible. Yes, exactly. Because yeah. you never had Halloween. Never well, so I woke up yeah. and I went to see what Santa had got me and Venom was under the tree and I was scared to death because he's, you know, scary yeah. in the shadows yeah. of the tree. And so I, you were 14 years old. I cried. But, yeah, I was 14. But, no, he's great. That, that's a, an amazing... I mean, I've written poetry about Swamp Thing. I don't want to get into it right now because mm -hmm. I'm still working on some of the rhymes. I mean, yeah. if you want to show some of the Swamp Thing art, you can right now. Sure. Okay, yeah. it's scrolling on the screen. There are a lot of... I've drawn a lot of pictures of Swamp Thing. Um, gosh, I, did, I, I love this toy. I love this line. I love the retro-inspired box. It kind of looks like the old Mego boxes. Mm -hmm. um, so, does Medicom do a lot of uh, Sofubis? At this yeah. scale? Yeah, they have uh, Superman, Bizarro, Batman, Joker. Um, I could understand why people don't like this line or don't get why these characters look so kind of cartoony or deformed. Yeah. Well, but I love it. It works for Swamp Thing. Are you kidding me? I also highly recommend that people go out and buy the Alan Moore Swamp Thing uh, trades mm -hmm. because that is just some awesome storytelling. It was really before Alan Moore became, you know, the, the amazing... Uh, prolific writer that he is today um but the stories are crazy and incredibly weird and um we went to uh, st mark's comics with sure. jake yep. from vsauce i and was not there oh we had a great time <laughs> wasn't that a great time <laughs> it was great we I saw little there. guardians um yeah it must be nice and he said oh which you know what uh trade paperback should i get and i was like you gotta get alan moore swamp thing mm. Uh, four months later, he still hasn't read it. So. <laughs> Bummer. Uh, have we had Swamp Thing on the show before? We have. Uh, we featured him very loosely on uh, our, uh, let's see, uh, fi Food Fighters. Mm. Yeah, and Brian, uh, during our Brian Flynn interview, yes. okay. he name checked right. Swamp Thing. Uh -huh. I think Swamp Thing is due for a bigger segment, and yeah. his that opportunity may be grossest toys. Well, yeah. Swamp Thing is very gross, and I mean, I'm not guilty, but like, I... I love Swamp Thing Very as a kid, guilty. and it's just like I didn't even 
know that there was a cartoon until my girlfriend showed me it. But I grew up watching the the movie and just buying the toys because it was like the same time as Beetlejuice and Captain Planet. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, always having a toy that like did something in water, sure. you know, the color. Yeah, 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 so like Swamp Thing was one of those and, uh, you know, glow in the dark. And also squeeze the leg and the arm moves. Yeah. Yeah, Swamp Thing yeah. is just definitely... Nobody believes you have a girlfriend. Okay, well... Just FYI. <laughs> well, I... Can I have this? No, I'm nope. So, we feature him on the show, but, you know, I'm thinking something a little bit larger, like maybe having him as a guest or something. Well, <laughs> funny you should say that, because Swamp Thing in the film was played by... Ray Wise. No way! Yes! We love Ray Wise. I think if there was a... Ray uh, Wise action figure? If there was a patron saint of Toy Pizza, it would either be Patrick Stewart or Ray Wise. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Him. Uh, <laughs> so, um, cool. I mean, this is great. Uh, do you think you'll be picking up any more at the scale? I mean, it's going to go in your toy case, I imagine. Are you going to keep the box? I'm running out of room in the toy case. I'm going to keep the box. I would like to get some other characters in here. Uh, what I would love to see is a glow-in-the-dark version of this. Yes. I think that yeah. would be even or more amazing. Or a clear version of this? Nope. Okay. Can you just, like, dunk him in glow-in-the-dark paint, maybe? Or what would that do? It's too pricey to customize. I mean, he is wearing a diaper, so... But uh, if people want to check this out, go to Hastings.com. There may be a few left in stock. I think it was limited to 300 pieces. Oh, I didn't and know limited that. limited to what price? Uh, it's over $100. Oh, boy. cha <laughs> right, Dollar the, signs. The sound up. effect, yeah. Oh, it's definitely uh, worth it if you love Swamp Things or Weird Toys or Medicom. And so Fubius. Definitely worth it if you love swamps, if you love things, or swamp things. Yeah. Great. Uh, so cool. And so that's sort of classic, but we have one more classic okay, left to yeah. cover. So, uh, can what? I hold him? Oh, of course. This Thank is your you. toy. Yellow so next thing. up that we're going to talk about is NECA. I have mentioned them before. Uh, it's actually the 30th year <laughs> anniversary for Nightmare on Elm Street. It's so also the 30th yeah. time Nikki has covered a 8-bit NECA paint app. <laughs> That's not <laughs> true. It's only twice, first of all. And no. two, so it's a 30-year anniversary, time. actually the 40-year anniversary for Texas Chainsaw, mm-hmm. and 30-year anniversary for Nightmare on Elm Street, which is seriously, wow. still holds up. The original, I will time and time again suggest any horror movie, it would be Nightmare on Elm Street, the mm-hmm. first one. It holds up. Everything about it is so great. It's like visually just like groundbreaking for a horror film. Mm. And anything after that, number two and on, Freddie became a comedian. And, Fair you know, it, it's kind of tame in that. But it is so gory. And Johnny Depp, if you love him and you hate him, you can see him get uh, sucked into a bed and something happens. So anyway. Spoiler. What, okay, well, right here I have, <laughs> right here I have Freddy Krueger mm-hmm. uh, by NECA. And this one is particularly special because not only did I get it for a birthday present, but he sits proudly next to my Jason, who is in the NES colorway. Right. We, we yeah. featured him on the show uh, pretty early on. I think yeah. we've talked about him a little bit. Also, um, Reaction Line. They uh, Reaction did um, an, uh, like an homage to the NES colorway. Yeah, definitely well. check out our Funko Friday promo to check out uh, Jason and Freddy side by side in the Reaction scale in these and, colorways. Uh, I think we got a couple unboxing videos of those. Don't Correct. We? Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally check it out. I mean, uh, it's interesting how uh, you know companies are kind of Doing this like retro throwback kind of color thing. Hopefully, we see more of that kind of stuff. So, Turtles. Well, so the number one thing I gotta say about this, uh, worth worth mentioning, is what? Well, yes, his colors are different because of the Nintendo colorway. Mm-hmm. But the thing that's so funny is that in the main title screen, you see Freddy's gory face, and he's holding up his hand. And what the game developers didn't realize is that that's not his hand; that's his glove. Yeah. So they literally made his hand. Flesh like, colored. Flesh colored. Yeah. And just made knives coming out of his, like, fingers. Yeah. And just like, that's what, what's going on there. So that's what they did with uh, the classic Freddy mold that NECA does. Mm-hmm. And they just painted his whole glove in that color. Was the developer, was it LJN? Yes, it was. Ah. Yeah. So LJN, we... of course, did the Dune line, did Silverhawks, Thundercats. You know, they, they were a toy company that was also producing NES games. And, yeah, cool. and any NES game that they produced, well, chances are it was bad. Yep. Um, yeah, that's my memory. Yeah. That, yeah. So because this is not a uh, Amigo-style uh, NECA toy, it's uh, all plastic. So those ridges in his pants, the wrinkles in his sweater, it's all uh, very hard plastic. So that's the only downside I about have, it. I have some ridges in my pants. Well, that's good. So are you so big of a Freddy fan that you would actually wear Freddy shoes? Oh, oh yeah! I totally forgot. So Jesse and oh. I were talking. Okay, Jesse and I were talking, and he actually has some more information about this scrapped sneaker by Nike that uh, never made it to production. So they were so close to production, they literally made boxes and boxes, and then last minute decision, they scrapped it and 
ordered all sneaker shops that received the shoe to send them back. And of course they didn't. And, uh, it somewhere... smells horrible. Okay. <laughs> it smells like uh, burnt flesh. It smells like bok choy. Okay. That's just, it smells like swamp. <laughs> swamp choy. So, uh, so, well, you said you worked with uh, New Line I, for a little bit. I did work with New Line handling licensing, mm -hmm. and Freddie and Jason and Leatherface were under my charge. Uh, that deal, or that proposal, what, did pass through my doors while I was there. I cannot comment uh, any further. It's all your fault that it did. Yeah. Imagine it's like you just like did, like messed up a signature or something like that, yeah. and you're like, oh. I lost the paperwork. Yeah. yeah. So no, I, I I wish I had more insight. Uh, this was already well underway when I came on board. Sure. Um, but I do remember I had a pair of these in my office, and I for whatever reason didn't take them with me, and Lord knows where they are now. Well, it's a Lord. piece. Yeah. Why did she know? Um, well, it's a piece in a uh, sneaker history, but again. Uh, for my, until I spoke to you, I had no idea that this was not canceled because a lot of people say that this was canceled because <laughs> Nike was making it without New Line's permission. Meanwhile, you're telling me that just the proposal or deal. I have no comment. Okay. Um. So back to the toy. I have a question. Why does he have a hole in his uh, moths back? Yeah, mothies. Moths. No, it's for what? the movie. No, dude. That it's just um. His sweater is just tattered and stuff like that, and he has several holes in his uh, sweater, like here. But no, that is a very distinct hole. It looks like a belt or something. Maybe it, his shirt was meant to be a little longer, and then if he pulled his pants down, he didn't have to take off his sweater. And he goes, doo-doo. I don't know, man. Doo -doo. I don't think so. I think and the show's hit a I new I feel low. like a belt goes there or something. A, a belt goes into his back yeah, like, sweater like hole. like Ninja Turtles or something, you know? Like, puts... Freddy doesn't wear a belt. Well, it looks like something <laughs> goes there. Like a uh, stand or something. It might have been the moles, I would say. From the, the, the toy yeah, well, there. explain the holes in the bottom of his shoes, huh? And explain why it says Andy on the bottom of his shoe. <laughs> mm. Conspiracy theories. I was but, like, this uh, came out in 2011, or it was... Oh, no, I guess it's just the mold was. And, uh, yeah, I really don't know the actual release date for this, but it was just given to me as a gift for my birthday, and just to go with the Jason, but uh, it could be an exclusive, but yeah. I just... Uh, don't know where. You know, I love uh, the way they do the packaging. We've talked about it before. Uh, the yep. packaging is really great. Totally worth keeping. Uh, uh, I threw it out, unfortunately, <laughs> but uh, it did resemble the uh, game art from the Nintendo game. Well, uh, I threw it out. Freddy's a great uh, semi-classical monster, but I think monsters go back a little even further mm -hmm. in film. Yes. And uh, why don't you tell us about what you got over there? Okay, over so there? up in Beacon, I saw this character, and it... Jesse revealed to me that don't go telling people where we go toy shopping. They're gonna, I, I, oh, well, uh, we're, we're gonna create competition for ourselves. That's right. Anyway, uh, the, this figure I saw in a box, and I was just like, man, he is so cool. And Jesse revealed to me that he's actually a Burger King fast food toy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I lost him, and then I uh, managed to meet someone locally for another creature of the Black Lagoon with another sealed uh, from the same line. Can I open it? Of course, it's, it's yours. I I remember this being at Burger King. Uh, but I didn't actually pick any of them up at the time. Here, ooh, a sticker. When is this? Uh, let's see. That. This smells right here. Dust. Ninety-seven. From yeah. Burger King. Here. This just smells like dust. Yeah. Uh, so this That's is right. Dracula, I think. Right? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, you see it the says picture? the Wolf Man. Yeah, Dracula. <laughs> oh I, boy. I these figures show up all the time though. Oh my gosh, Burger King Kids Club. You guys remember this? Um, mm -hmm. That's yours. Look, and it it still had like the guy with the hat and the. That's pretty cool. Zap Brannigan. Oh, look. Um, <laughs> let's do the super official Burger King Kids Club membership application. <laughs> Boing! So cool. The Wolfman, he, he's in a coffin. Oh, woo! And then he just Cookie pops crisp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? um, this line is great. You know, these these always show up as part of, like, G.I. Joe lots on mm -hmm. eBay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little dusty. Or that's some spores and fungus and we've Speaking all been exposed. Then. I think there was, a, uh, there was a Dracula in this line as well. There was a mummy. mummy. Uh, yeah. Dracula and... Uh, no, there was no mummy, actually. Dracula and Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Oh, nice try, suckers. I right, so there's four. It was just uh, Wolfman, Dracula, Frankenstein, and creature. Yeah, uh, so these are like three and three quarter inch scale. So yeah. if you need G.I. Joe to uh, fight some monsters... Fight the Wolfman. He, but he can come out of this, right? Yeah, the, uh... you just put him in there. Can I have the sticker? Of course. It's yours. I want to put it on my locker. Wait, how do you do cool. it? Oh, okay. okay. But it's you... of uh, Ron Coleman. So yeah, so... Uh, Wolfman came with uh, a coffin that he pops out of, and the creature from the Black Lagoon has a light like up a, feature. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Not a light up feature, he squirts water. Oh. He spits it. Or yeah. vodka. Or vodka. If okay. you do it right. That's funny. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, I broke him. Just kidding. 
He's like Michael J. Fox. This is a this is a great line, and I think if you wanted like a modern update. Super 7 Funko Reaction. That's true. Yeah, uh, that's... the monsters. Yep. Yeah. And they are going to be coming out with uh, classics like uh, Bride of Frankenstein. And, yeah. yeah. And Invisible Man. Really? Maybe uh, check back on Halloween. Maybe we'll have something to share. This is awesome. This I is love awesome. These. I yeah. can't believe it. For, for more fast food Halloween toys, check out our fast food episode oh, where... Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, the chicken I, nuggets. Yeah. No, I've got the... Um... Grimace. The bird girl. And a ghost. Grimace is a ghost. The mm-hmm. the bird girl, whatever her name is. And a pumpkin. And she's in a pumpkin. And the uh, the hamburger Hamburglar. was a uh, Dracula. Or a hamburger. No, well. <laughs> hand. He was dressed up as a hamburger as hand, Dracula. Yeah. Hand burglar. He can seal your hands. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those are great. Those are great toys. I I found those in a box back home. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, I, I feel like our cup runneth over with monsters. And, I'm really uh, scared. With candy. I feel very spoopy. Well, let's hit the streets and go trick or treating. It's or not, we could uh, do oh, some yeah, right. uh, Halloween. Uh, Q&As. Oh, let's do Q&A first. That's right. Yes. And trick-or-treating. Uh, Q&A. Now, for those of you not familiar, you're just tuning into the show, we'd like to do a little Q&A session at the end of every episode. Um, you can find our Q&A uh, advertisements, I guess you call them. Uh, call to action for questions on Instagram. You can leave a comment below on this video where we can find lots of questions. Or you can mail us directly at... Toy piece of mail? At gmail.com. Consider it group therapy. Group therapy. That's right. But a lot cheaper. Mm. Uh, so this week we've got three solid questions. Um, they're okay. No, they're pretty solid. Uh, first up is from some weirdo named Jake Rahr. I'm not sure. He says, uh, in, in a bit of a run-on sentence, he says, Is it true that they can't make a Jake Roper action figure because it would requ- require all the plastic in the world just to replicate his muscles? So mm. is this the same... Jake Roper from Vsauce 3. I think I the saw... The internet bully who keeps pestering us. <laughs> I think I saw a video about this on his channel that said, what if in the, all the world, I combine all the plastic, would it be enough for my muscles? Sure. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, I can't remember if that was on Vsauce 2 or 3. Possibly. But um, I, I totally uh, can see a Toy Pizza Vsauce collaboration in the near future. And this sounds like a challenge to me, so I think we have to prove that there is enough plastic to make it. We got two plastic here. Three plastic? (laughs) That's many plastic. Four plastic. That's rich. Okay. So we have many plastic. Uh, No, Jake, uh, great question. I guess the only one to answer that is, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Moving on. Question two. All right. uh, Question number two comes from Tales from Death which is uh, basically stories from waiting in line for the iPhone 6. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very um, uh, They ask, what sites or blogs do you get your news from? Mm. I guess they're referring to the news that we talk about at the beginning of the episode. In case you missed the news. Let, let me tell you. Half of them. Rewind the video. Let me tell you, when you're a YouTube celebrity, the news comes to you. The okay? news comes to you. Uh, uh, but failing that, um, I go to, uh, every day I go to uh, Toy News Eye. Uh-huh. I go to Toy Arc. Sure. Mm. Uh, I like Phil Reed's Battle Grip. Yeah. I think that's a great site. And then, uh, not so much anymore, but 4chan used to be a great source okay. for when um, prototype pictures kind of first showed up. And Rule 34. Uh, great for Rule 34. And the fappening, of course. <laughs> uh, what about, um, what's it called? Uh, Action Figure Insider. Is that, uh, is that around? Is that a make that yeah, up? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Julius Marks, yeah. Okay. Um, Action Figure Insider, a great one as well. And they, they really get... Some good behind the scenes scoops. Yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, also, just Instagram. If you just uh, follow hashtags and uh, you know various people just post uh, new pics and stuff like that. Like big yeah, bad. Instagram as soon as like Big one. Bad Toy Store has like a, a pre-order pre-order available, they'll someone will post it. Yeah. Uh, I would also say our Tumblr is a yeah fairly yeah. okay source. And Instagram of news. or both of our Instagrams. In. It's nice for uh, pictures. I would say definitely check it out. Toypizza.tumblr.com or Instagram.com slash Toy Pizza backslash backup folder forward slash miscellaneous dot JPEG. Yeah. Right? Well, there's miscellaneous dot JPEG one. And It'll be four. on the bottom of the yeah, screen. Yeah, there's a few. Um, no, it won't be. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. It won't be. All right. Uh, question number three and the final question. We're breezing right through these. Um, okay, bear dead, right? Like mm-hmm. like a polar bear. No, uh-huh. I think like beard Ed. Oh, uh, Beard Ed, yeah. Maybe. Bear Dead? Beard. Beard, Beard Ed. Well, Beard. they want to know uh, what toy line was not finished. Uh, well, this is a weird question. What toy line was not finished that you wish would come back? Um, Nikki had a great answer for this one earlier. Well, this is the only one that I can think of offhand. I heard that question, and I thought of 
Mega Man So Fubi mm. by specifically Jesse D'Astasio. He's mentioned how there's a couple that just never made mm. it to uh, actual. Source. Yeah, the uh, the Jazzwares line, mm. the uh, Retro Roto. Yeah, there was uh, the tools actually exist for Woodman and Iceman, but they were not manufactured. Mm. Um, it's a shame we had so many amazing characters tooled up and uh, with plans to bring them to stores. And yeah, I would love to see that line come back for sure. What about Dune? Dune would be great. I think um, uh, Silverhawks. I would love to see come back, uh, particularly because um, there was a Mumra mail away figure that never got made, and it's sort of Mumra out of his armor, um, and that would be incredible to earn. I, not Mumra. Oh my God, Monstar. Folks, I'm of losing Of course, it. that's ridiculous that you said that. Old age is, is it's like creeping Pokemon. in. It's like Pokemon for you. It's like, wait, you could be making it worse. First, yeah, I, yeah. I blow the, I call Ash Kane, and mm -hmm. I quit. Very I embarrassing. I can't do this anymore. Very you, embarrassing. You said mummy instead of Frankenstein? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Very I did not. Replay the tape. I did not say that. <laughs> um, yeah, so Silverhawks, I think, uh, long overdue for a comeback. Mm. Do, you, do you have one? Um, you know, like, just going off of top of mind, like, I feel like there weren't enough Futurama figures, or at least mm. there weren't, like, an abundance of them, mm -hmm. and that's, like, one of my favorite shows. Um, but then on the flip side, like, you know, there's so many Family Guy figures, and I'm just like, I don't care about mm. Family Guy figures, but, like, I feel like there was some cool uh, people um, on Futurama, that would be interesting. I mean, there's still a ton of villains from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that they can sure, hit yeah, that yeah. just, like, never made it. Like, yeah. I have a couple of favorites, like, uh, yep. I'll take the Frankenstein from the Halloween episode, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and also the, the frog, that when he ate the rangers, they would show up in oh, the little yeah, yeah, emblem yeah. Yeah. On, on his body. That, yeah. You're describing a fever dream I had. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I can't really think of anything. I don't know if you guys can. What's your favorite toy line that uh, didn't finish? Who are you asking them? That was the camera. Are the, you the guy behind the camera? I was asking. You break? Oh, Roger? Yeah. Roger, he's mute. You know he can't. Sorry, Sorry Roger. Roger. Oh, he's crying. Mm. Now you've done it. Go home, Roger. Well, guys, uh, sister, sister. I'm sweating to death in this leather, so uh, I think we should hit the bricks. And the only thing left to say is... Just go subscribe to our YouTube channel and subscribe to us on iTunes where you can listen to us on the go uh, in case you don't have time to stick around on YouTube. Uh, you can download us uh, from iTunes, listen to us on your iPhone. Um, also, please send in your pictures. Use hashtag Toy Pizza on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, Nikki? Oh, they've been doing a great job with the hashtag Toy Pizza. And uh, I guess now we can say, after you do all those things, pizza out! Go back. Nikki, you're too slow. You're too slow, Nikki.